So back to that tip, are crews really having to repaint the inner belt bridge? To find out, we turn to both Amanda McFarland and Matt Bruning of ODOT and learn the answer is yes. So what's going on? Turns out a company named Walsh built the westbound lanes, while a company named TGR did the eastbound, but they each painted their sections of steel differently. Walsh painted after they were up, while TGR did most of them before. And now they're painting again after ODOT inspectors found flaws, things such as scratches and nicks. McFarland tells us about 100 contractors are now working on that eastbound bridge and should be done later this year. She stresses the bridge is safe, that ODOT did its job by catching the flaws and said taxpayers will not have to pay. No whitewash here, TGR will cover the cost while covering sections of that new bridge in even newer paint. So, are crews really having to repaint the Interbelt Bridge? Yes, they are, and that's verified.